I say that to my female audience, be a lioness. And where the lioness goes, she cuts her own path. Ultimately, you follow your own heart. And your heart will set you free. And all the other teachers and guides, they show up on your way to put you, to show you the way, which way is the way. But there is a point that you're going to even have to let go of your teacher and walk your own way. Respect is there, but you're going to have to walk your own way on yourself. So, so speaking of that, um, uh, our friend Lynn mentioned about different kind of meditations, uh, comparing uh, some other gurus, teachers with my, my teachings. Again, you have to see what works for you. Uh, there is no really comparison because whatever I teach with my meditations or methods uh, works for you. It may not work for someone else and they may not feel any, any, any connection to it. So what they're doing is fine. What you're doing is fine. And don't even get into in your head trying to get into this game with them and saying that, oh, my way is better than yours. This is like a five, six year old child, children trying to, being, being children. Mine is better than yours. So don't get into that game. Move on and do your own thing. So as far as entering into fifth dimension, what is fifth dimension? Let's talk about that first before we go any further. Fifth dimension, let's say, imagine that we're only having ocean. There is no land, there is no sand, there is no mountains, there's no sky. It's only water. It's only blue turquoise water. It's beautiful. It's yummy. But that's the only thing there is. Like Caribbean turquoise water. But there's only water. And there's nothing else to compare it to. You don't have a sky as a contrast, or there is no white sand, sandy beaches to compare the water to. It's only water. So, and it's a little bit difficult for the mind to imagine something without anything to compare it to. So fifth dimension is a unified field of oneness is a unified field of love. It is a state, a place of presence, pure presence, isness is, but there is nothing for it to compare itself to. It's just is. And it's difficult almost impossible for the human mind to grab this because the mind needs to compare this to something. That's how the mind works. It needs to compare one thing to another for it to understand it. So the mind cannot grasp what I'm talking about. So now let's Imagine that for a moment. Close your eyes for one moment and imagine that there is only beautiful turquoise water and nothing else. See if you can have that visualization. Now, that's fifth dimension. There is no duality. Duality is 
mean there has to be two separate things. Now, the fifth dimensional state that when we are doing our work, those of you who've been with me, especially if you've been at one of my workshops or one of my retreats, at the retreats, we, because we spend more time together and we prepare ourselves to enter into the fifth dimensional consciousness. And we have experienced that many, many different times. That you arrive at the place and maybe you, you touched it, you've experienced it when we did the meditation. And you arrive at a place that the mind comes to silence, that there is absolutely no thoughts. You are here, you're alive, you're breathing, but there's no thinking. It's just still, you're in this place. And there is pure stillness. And you've experienced that. Maybe you even experienced it earlier today when we did our meditation. Maybe you touched it for a moment. Okay? And sometimes it's difficult if we don't have a point of reference because we don't know how, where to put it. But you come to silence, you're quiet, you're in this place. And there is no movements inside you any longer. There's no thoughts passing through. There's no emotions rising. It's just still and quiet. And in that pure stillness and silence, a phenomena takes place. And what happened is the connection between no mind and the heart opens up. You have gone beyond the mind into the silence. And the heart opens. And love reveals itself. But not human love. This love is beyond any love that we ordinarily experience. This is the divine love. This is the presence. The presence is revealing itself. And in that moment, when you're in this place, you are like, this is it. I want this. I want to stay in this place all of my life. Because in that moment you have touched and arrived into your fifth dimensional space and self.